Now this seems like a really easy question that you just do 11 divided by 6 and times by 7. The problem that gives us is it basically means if we add a student it takes longer. Now the problem is that you, one looks at this question thinks it's direct proportion. It's not. It's inverse proportion. So if we have a think about well let's label the two things so we can have hours and students. Now H is inversely proportional to the amount of students you have. So H equals K, which is our constant, over S. The hours is 11, and the number of students is 6 in our example. So I'm going to put the lines in and times both sides by 6. So it's 66 equals K, or K equals 66. Then when I go back to this equation here, we know what k is, and k is a constant, so it's always going to stay the same. So it's 66 over the amount of students. So for our example, it says that there's 7 students, so h is going to be 66 over 7. So let's type that in, 66 divided by 7, and I get the answer of 9.4. Two, eight, blah blah blah. So it says it wants it to two decimal places, so it's 9.43. Now, a way of checking this is it took six students 11 hours, so you'd think with seven students it would take less time, which it does here. So if you don't know or you forget how to do the inverse proportion, just literally times these two numbers together and then get that answer and divide it by this number here.